for a shed like this, there's plenty of airflow, you get lots of sunlight, it's a great location. Um, the cons are the fact that you know, you've got metal gates in between so they still can cross contaminate each yeah. other all the way through. Um, but as long as your hygiene's up there, you shouldn't have any problems. Yep. Yeah. So st stone bedding is more for the fact that the sheds that we use, um, getting hold of wood shavings and enough wood shavings was always a problem. Um, we use this, the shingle because it's free draining. Um, it's in a depth of um, a couple of feet deep and under in, in the middle of each of ten there's a big sump hole. So as you can see they're dry all around the middle and it's only around the edges that um, you know you, you start seeing a bit of staining. So the how it's more for the health and welfare of, of the shed. Um, lots of people criticize the fact that they don't think that stones are warm but if if we got some calves up and felt where the calves have been sitting, they generate a lot of heat. Yeah. Um, but there's not the dampness that we have to worry about. Yeah. And so the, the quality of the stones at the moment on a second fill is pretty good. And the calves seem to be okay with the stones. They love it. But you can hear that you know they are running around playing and things like that. So for a, a good calf shed, we want to make sure that the bedding's always dry. So a, a good test. Um, if you can't kneel down in it and stay dry, then, then the calf's not going to sit in it as well. So we, want it, we always want it nice and dry. So you just got a bit of dust and that's it. <laughs> dry. <laughs> Ultimately, there shouldn't be any urine or anything for the calf to sit on. Yeah. Um, so it stays nice and healthy and, and draft free and things like that. So it, Draft free at calf level, um, but you want airflow to take away the smells of ammonia and, and things like that. So, for me, I always say if you can smell ammonia, you've got pneumonia issues that you're going to deal with. Yeah. Um, calves are really sensitive, they'll start getting a run to their eye and coughing and showing all the symptoms of pneumonia if there's high ammonia. In the so, we've, we can do a little lighter test on. At calf level, yep. Um, just seeing if there's any draft, and no, there's no draft. And I guess the important thing is to always be thinking about the level the calves are at as well. Yeah. Because even though there might not be a draft or a smell of ammonia up here, there could be down, down here. So it's good to level. get down, yeah. see what the environment's like down there. So hygiene is obviously so important when you're rearing calves. What sort of hygiene procedures do you guys have in place here? For us, we use. Um, a combination of different things so we use a sanitizer and a disinfectant so the disinfectant goes gets pre-season gets sprayed all around the walls the floors at, at a heavy rate um, and then the sanitizer gets used in all our feeders so the feeders and anything that, that um, is going to be used around the calves like the thermometer or the tube drench or anything like that they've literally sanitized every single day you sanitize single, the feeders every single day yeah. so they get um, sanitized at night um, and they're ready for the morning again so for our hygiene regime we do twice a week we spray with the disinfectant and so at the heavy rating and um, and any time that a pen has been emptied because it's gone outside so then it gets a complete overhaul if fresh bedding needs to be used then it's put in then um, we blanket everything with as much disinfectant as it can possibly handle. The troughs get all cleaned. Um, you, we, if you can't drink that water, then the calf's not going to drink the water. And ultimately, they need water to to help the rumen and develop and things. So, um, it's, lots of people don't think calves drink water from day one, but they do. So it's important that that the water's there. Calves go into the nursery paddocks at about 12 days old, depending on room in the sheds and how well they are doing. You do need some sort of shelter. Um, if you haven't got the beauty of these little huts like we have, um, just straw bales, just something that you can get against to get, you know, break away from bad weather and things. So as soon as they're exposed to um, the elements, they're shivering, and so that's using up energy. And the energy that you've used trying to gain weight is all gone. Yeah. So, um, so the calf isn't growing. Yeah, and I guess 
a, a cold cast can be okay, but a cold and wet cast is really where the problem lies, isn't it? That's really exactly. when they start to shiver yeah. and they really can't handle it. They can't handle it. And then, then you, you've got to check in, within your development. Yeah. So we try and eliminate all the checks. So paddocks where we don't have the huts, there'll be three or four bales for 50 calves and, um, and angled in to, to position for the weather.